11.5 um, using system of linear equation to solve application problems involving with interest rates and mixture problems. So um, in this video I want to show you how to use two different variables to solve these um, interest problems. Now before I begin um, I will need to uh, sh um, if you don't mind go to your lecture handout and scratch this out this is actually for um, let's take this all the way back up to here okay find plenty of, uh, and uh, the other objective I placed them in the wrong spot before so the interest rate formula as you can recall the interest rate formula was I equal to principal times rate times time we're going to assume all the time is one so we mainly just going to try to translate for the principal and the rate so all these problems we will need the idea of an interest to help us write out the equation so let's take a look a total of six thousand dollars is invested part of an eight percent the remaining at thirteen percent so basically I got two type of accounts okay the eight percent account and the thirteen percent account so this is my rate already. So the question is, well, how much money did I invest at each rate? So let's say 8% I invested X amount of dollars. 13% I invested Y amount of dollars. So since I'm using two different variables, I need two different kind of equation. The first one got to be this part where the both account together. Let me do it right here both account together got to equal to six thousand dollars okay now the next equation got to be about this annual interest so this annual interest just like we mentioned in module 9 this annual interest got to be the total amount of interest from the 8% and the 13% so I'm gonna write it right up here well you know what I'm gonna write it right here. I'm going to write it down here and I'm going to erase it. So basically here it's saying the total amount of interest from two account is the interest from the 8% plus the interest earned from the 13% together got to equal up to $650. So how much money did how much interest did I earn from the 8% that will be principal x times the rate 8%. 8% is 0 0.08, so that'll be 0 0.08x plus the interest earned from the 13% principal times rate, which is 0 0.13 times y, equal to $650. All right. Now, if I want to use one variable only, okay, if I use one variable only, again, my rate is at 8% and 13%. My principal, okay, this is the concept I mentioned in module nine called you and I. You and I, two different account has six thousand dollars. So if one of them has X, the other one got to be the total six thousand minus X. So the equation that I need to write out the concept I need to write out the whole equation got to be the interest from the 8% plus the interest earned from the 13% got to equal up to 650. So that will be 0 0.08 times X, right? Principal times rate plus 13% is 0 0.13 times, okay? The principal times rate 0 0.13 times 6,000 minus X together equal to 650 okay well so why do I mention this using one variable because if I will solve if I using two different variable and I will solve for um, y in the first equation to get y by itself, I move my x over, so that's y equal to 6,000 minus x. So, if I will substitute 
my 6,000 minus x into the second equation for every y that I see, then I will actually end up with 0 0.08x plus 0 0.13 normally times y. Now you will times what, what I'm substitute for the y, which is 6,000 minus x equal to 650. So as you can see, the two equations are exactly the same. Okay. So let's do some um, distribution here real quick. Let's see, 0.13 times 6,000. So that's 780. All right, positive 780, positive 1, 3 times negative x, negative 0.13x, 0 0.08x is still in the front, equal to 650. All right, combine like terms, 0 0.08x minus 0 0.13x, 0 0.08 minus 0.13, negative 0.05x, set equal to, let's move the 780 to, 780 to the other side, that become negative, so that would be 650 minus 780, which is negative 130, divide both sides by 0 0.05, negative 130 divided by negative 0 0.05 my answer x equal twenty six hundred dollars so that means my <clears throat> the account that I invest at eight percent I actually invest at twenty six hundred dollars so for the account that is thirteen percent that will become six thousand so let's substitute this back into first equation prime so that would be y equals 6,000 minus 2,600. That'll give me $3,400. All right, so that's how much money I invested in the two accounts, okay? So one variable or two variable, either way, give me the exact same answer. All right, Jessica has money in two saving account. One rate is 5%, the other is 10%. So this is the same exact problem, okay? Except we're gonna translate slightly different, okay? So again, it tell me the rate is one at 5%, the other one is at 10%. If she has $950 more, ooh, here we go, $950 more in 10%, $950 more in 10% than who? Well, they got to be then the 5% then. And the total inch is 281. Okay, so total inch is 281. That's my second equation. So let's say 5% is X, 10% is Y, okay? So my first equation got to be this this part I highlight. The if she has $950 more in 10% account than the 5%. All right, how do I translate $900 more in 10%? So 10%, the 10% account, okay, the 10% account, which I call it the Y, is $950 more than what? Than the 5% which is which is x because i already said x is for the five percent all right so i basically kind of reward this slightly nine hundred fifty dollar more in the ten percent than the five percent okay so who is more you know this is where we got to think about this a minute now I'm going to out more in the 10%. So the 10% account is already bigger than the 5% account. 10% is called Y. So if I will say the Y plus 950, that's even more. Okay, so for for the two account to equal, okay, the 950 got to add on to the 5% to make the translation make sense. Okay, and this is where um, in module 9, I used the idea of comparing Mr. Chen's money versus Donald Trump's money, okay? 
All right, this one equation. So this one is going to be my first one. It's already saying y equals, so I can just substitute into the second one. So the second one got to be about this interest, which is 281. So the 281 is the total interest from the two account. So the interest from the 5% account will be principal times rate, 0 0.05 times x, plus the interest earned from the 10%, which is 0 0.1 times y. Right, so let's do a quick sub, uh, let's do a substitution first into the second one for the y that would be 0 0.05 x plus 0 0.1 times 950 plus x equal to 281 so that would be 0 0.05 x 0 0.1 times 950 is positive 95 0 0.1 times positive x positive 0.1x equal to 281. So combine like turn, 0 0.05 plus 0.1 is 0.15x equal. Move the 950 over, that's 281 minus the 95, 186. Divide both sides by 0.15. Let me sure, let's see what we get. All right, 240. All right, so I actually invest at twelve forty in uh for in the five percent account. All right, so let's take substitute this back into first equation. So the y remember it says the ten percent account is nine hundred fifty dollar more. Right than the five percent, so that will be twelve forty plus a nine fifty. So my ten percent account has twenty one ninety. All right, that's all we do for this for this example. All right, this one is interesting. This one has the word lost in them. So on the two investment total of seven thousand dollars, Jessica lost three percent on one and earned five percent on the other. If her net annual receipts were one hundred fifty dollars, how much was invested? So I have a three percent account. Which I lost money on, so that's that's basically saying it's a negative three percent. The five percent account I make money on it, so <clears throat> that's positive. All right, how much did I invest in each account? I don't know. That's called the x and the y again. So I know my first equation got to be about the total amount. So one equation is about the total investment. The other one is about interest, basically. Oops. The 150 right here. All right, so let's check it out. X plus Y, the two investment total at $700, excuse me, $7,000. All right, so Jessica lost 3%. So the $150 comes from the interest earned from the two accounts, right? So the first account lost 3%, so that would be negative 0 0.03 times the principal, plus the 5% times the interest rate, that's 0 0.05 times Y. Right, principal times rate is the interest. So the interest from the 5% plus the interest from the 3% together equal to 150. All right, I'm gonna solve for Y again in the first equation. So move the x over, so y equal to 7,000 minus x, y number 1 prime. Substitute this into the second equation, whatever I say on y. So that's negative 0 0.03x plus 0.5, excuse me, 0 0.05. Wait, let me write nicely. Times 7,000 minus x equal to... 150. Alrighty. So negative 0 0.03x. 0 0.05 times 7,000 times negative x. 0 0.05 times 7,000. 
point zero five times negative x is negative point zero five x equal to hundred fifty. Negative point zero three x minus point zero five x is negative point zero eight x. Move the positive three fifty to the other side become negative. So that's one fifty minus the three fifty. That's negative two hundred. So that's good because both sides are negative. So one divide both sides by negative point zero eight. My answer twenty five hundred dollars. <throat> so she invested twenty five hundred dollars at the uh, at the twenty five at the negative three percent. Excuse me. All right. So. If I substitute my twenty five hundred back into the y, the number equation one prime seven thousand minus twenty five hundred. That would be forty five hundred dollars. So she invests forty five hundred dollars at the five percent account. All right. All right. I think. Um, I think. We talk a little bit about this exceed part in module nine. So twenty-two thousand one hundred two is invested. Part at eleven rests at seven percent. If the interest earned from the amount <coughs> at the eleven percent, this is a strange. All right, interest earned from the account invested at eleven percent exceed the interest earned from the one at seven percent by this much. So, as you can recall from module nine, exceed means the difference between the two. Okay, one is more than the other. So, if I would subtract the two, that will give me the nine hundred thirteen dollars. So, basically, what we are saying is the interest. From the eleven percent, okay, is more than the interest earned at seven percent by how much? Is this this one is more than that by nine hundred thirteen point four six? Okay, so how do we how do we compare that? How do we compare the two account to know one exceeds the other? We go by subtraction. So the more subtract the less interest give me the positive nine hundred thirteen. So that's one equation I will need. <clears throat> the other one got to be the total amount of money invested. So again, my rate is at eleven percent and seven percent. I'm gonna say eleven percent is x, seven percent is y. So my first equation got to be. Um, x plus y equal to twenty two one zero two. My second equation got to be about the interest. So the interest earned eleven percent is bigger. So that got to go first, which is x times eleven percent principal times the rate, which is point one one x minus right exceed. That means their difference is nine thirteen point zero seven times the y equal to nine thirteen point four six. Okay, so again, if you do a substitution methods here, solving for either x and y and substitute, you can quickly find your x or y. Okay, so I'm not gonna um, to save some time. I'm just not gonna continue to solve um, the same type of problem over and over. I just want to show you how to um, how to write out the two equation here. All right. Now this is just another different type of translation. Okay. So Sally invests some money at seven percent interest. Sally also invests fifty-two more dollars. Okay. So fifty-two more dollars than five times that amount at thirteen percent. Okay, that's weird. Uh, what are we comparing to? Sally invests some money at seven percent interest. She also invests fifty-two more than five times that amount. That amount, that amount, at thirteen percent. Okay, so that's a weird translation. So I got my rates right, seven percent and thirteen percent. What's the principal? How much? How much is invested at each rate? 
if Sally received twenty five hundred dollars in interest. So that is the uh, the second equation I'm going to write out. So let's just say x is the principal at seven percent, y is the principal at thirteen percent. So let's translate for this one. I highlighted fifty two more than five times that amount. That that amount that got to be referring to as a seven percent. Okay, at thirteen percent. So that means thirteen percent is more than at seven percent. So the money invested at thirteen percent is. So I'm rewording this basically. Basically, what we're saying is thirteen percent is invested is actually fifty two more than five times at seven. Okay, kind of reword a little bit. She invested fifty two dollar more than five times that amount. Whatever that amount is at seven percent. Okay, at thirteen percent. So that made thirteen percent is the one that's more money in it. Okay, so the thirteen percent invested is fifty-two dollar more than five times. Okay, five times who? Five times the seven percent. So the thirteen percent is fifty-two dollar more than five times that amount invested at seven percent, which is X. Because if you really think about it, though, the seven percent is the thirteen percent. Based on this phrase, the thirteen percent is already greater than the what, the seven percent. So if I will say y is going to be somehow fifty-two plus five x or five times y, fifty-two plus five times y, that actually make the the money at the thirteen percent even bigger. So that that doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense. Okay. So that's the reason why we we are saying thirteen percent is fifty two more than five times compared to seven percent. Okay, more than five times seven percent. All right, let's do the other equation. The total amount of interest, which is twenty five hundred dollars. So the principal times the rate at seven percent x times seven percent point zero seven x plus Y is going to be the second interest. The thirteen percent interest is going to be point one three times the Y together equal to twenty five hundred eighty four dollars. All right. So I'm sure you can substitute this first equation into the second equation for Y. So I'm sure you can actually finish this problem. Okay. So um, just just to save times on the video, um, I leave the solving part. To you to do on your lecture handouts. Okay, alrighty, that will conclude this lecture video on using system of linear equation to solve interest problem. Alright, thank you for watching.